Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it, <laughs> but I don't wanna. I don't wanna remember it. This movie is so awful. I wish it was lobotomized from my brain. Even if it was the part of my brain that forgets what my penis was, I still want to lobotomize. <sighs> Buck up. This is Tank Girl. Just a girl. I mean, this is like a McDonald's playground after you've smoked a pile of horseshit. It's stupid, it's nonsensical, and it's annoying, annoying, annoying. But before we take a look at this delightful ass raping, let's take a look at a little history. And I do mean little, because I never actually read the comic book this movie was based off of. But to the comic's credit, it looks pretty cool. I think one of the guys who developed the Gorillas band worked on this comic, and it shows. The artwork is really awesome. The character seems like fun, and I really like the setting of this sort of punk apocalyptic future. What'd be the word for that? Apocalyptic? I don't know. And I guess it did well enough that Hollywood finally came by to try and ruin it. And they certainly did a bang-up job of that! So, let's not wait any longer, even though I'm sure many of us want to, let's take a look at Tank Girl. So I would tell you the backstory of this little opus, but hell, why don't I let Harley Quinn's retarded sister tell you? Listen up, because I'm only telling you this once. I'm not bedtime story lady, so pay attention. Wow, I hate you already. You see, a while ago, this humongous comet came crashing into the Earth. Bam! No celebrities, no cable TV, no water. It hasn't rained in 11 years. What's that? Nobody will get the Frank Herbert's Dune jokes? All right, I'll keep them out. And then they show us one of the most poetic, beautiful images ever to be associated with the desert on film since Lawrence of Arabia. My heart leaps every time. This fucked up image pretty much sums up the feel of the movie. I mean, look at her. She looks like she got a makeover by the sand people. <laughs> So she goes roaming through the desert looking for water to steal. Witness, Exhibit A. Boy, Super Dave's stunts aren't as funny as they used to be. So she takes off her mask to reveal herself as... Gwen Stefani! <coughs> Actually, this is Rebecca, played by Lori Petty. Yeah, you know, the whiny little sister from A League of Their Own. Didn't you always want to see her in a starring role? Ah, uh, there it is. Holy sweet home. Actually, that's a drawing of it, but okay. You've been stealing water. What gave you that idea? Take off your clothes. Did I mention a woman directed this movie? A woman who hopefully isn't horny as hell? A woman who hopefully hates looking at the naked male body as much as I do? Gross out. Come on, to be weird again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Next time we'll take more than children to save you. <laughs> so yeah, these two are fucked up. As we then cut to the location of our main villain. Okay, another drawing. Oh, but what? You can't even show the real building? You gotta show a drawing of it? What's the point of having a building if you can't? HAVE A BUILDING! Is the idea that it just looked better in the comics or they're not even gonna bother to show us? So we see our bad guy who runs all the water in the world named Kessley, played by Malcolm McDowell, who really needs to fire his agent. Adam was dust until God injected him with life. And do you know what was in that injection? Sperm? Water. Well, that's not how I heard about the birds and the bees. To Captain Derouche. That final crack of land will be ours. This crack of land, Captain. Huh. Now look what's happened. And the Tennelson Ridge! And so on! And Sauron? Nobody owns me, Biatch. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good! Now get me more things to smash! So he stabs Captain LaDouche, or whatever his name is, and steals all the water from his body. Aquafina is people! Lovely. I, well, hey, what? Well, hey! What is the point of that? 
Did you just run out of footage so you threw the storyboards in there? Zeus! Rebecca? 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 Rebecca! <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Uh, this is the producer of the movie. The scene you just saw served no purpose and probably should have been edited out of the final product. Our apologies. But Rebecca is approached by one of McDowell's soldiers, trying to stop their illegal water stealing. But Rebecca tries to flirt her way out. Okay. A three? Sam, not quite blown in my face! My one weakness! Drop something? Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, shit. <laughs> I like how he doesn't even yell. Like, he's thinking to himself, I'm an extra in tank, girl. It's not like I really have to try. I won't be putting it on my resume. So they shoot up all the people inside, but for some reason keep Rebecca alive. Well, well. <laughs> There's your water. <laughs> yeah, well. Roger, fake special effect, you are clear to land. So she meets up with McDowell as he tries to offer her a chance to work with him. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. I think they wrote that on the tickets for this movie. I'm offering you the chance of a lifetime. The honor of working for me. Not interested. Not yet. You will be! You will be! So they make her a slave in his company as she tries to fight back with her witty comebacks. Hey, what time is it? I don't want to miss Baywatch. <laughs> Baywatch! It's funny because it existed. Meanwhile, a woman named Jed, played surprisingly by Naomi Watts, is trying to fight off a guard who won't stop hitting on her. Quit picking on my girlfriend. Okay, this movie just went up a notch. Or at least something went up a notch. Ugh. Oh god, that's <laughs> gross. I never want to see two women kiss. Okay, what is the idea behind having the comic book drawings in the movie? Seriously! It's like a comic book coming to life, without it actually coming to life. So Rebecca sneaks around the place looking for, appropriately enough, a tank. Why are they playing Shaft? I mean, are they trying to pass off that that's somehow not Shaft? Because that's so obviously Shaft. You can even put the lyrics to it, listen! Who's the scuzzy chick who plays with tanks like it's a dick? Carol! Her character is bland, and no one understands her, even the audience. Tank girl. But sadly, the tank doesn't work, so Rebecca thinks she knows the woman who can get it running. <laughs> Miss me? I did not. What are you doing? Oh, I was just thinking about leaving this place. What do you reckon? We go to New York, see cats. Cats, Baywatch, all mid-90s references, will you ever age? You just gotta think about it like the first time he got laid. You just gotta go, Daddy, are you sure this is right? Wow, that's offensive and unfunny. It's like a female Jeff Dunham. Thank God. Lock her away for good this time. I never thought I'd be able to use this line in a way that makes sense, but... I was frozen today! <laughs> it never gets old. I'm going to ask you just one more time. Where's my career? Do you want to work for Water and Power? I get to wear a cute little outfit like yours? So they're going to use her to set off these booby traps to try and get to the lair of these water bandits simply known as the Rippers. But, wouldn't you know it, the Rippers show up in their half-assed Predator costumes and kill all the guards leaving Rebecca and Thelma from Scooby-Doo here alive. We better go before they come back for us. You take the tank. Are you okay? Oh no, she's entering Mulholland Drive. Oh, 
I guess we're in the promo for the Saturday morning cartoon now. <laughs> what, did Disney take over? I mean, what is this? Why does this suddenly look like Andy Warhol's spin-up? <laughs> okay, whatever. We see McDowell go through some sort of vanilla sky operation to make up for what the Rippers did to him. All the king's horses and all the king's men. Wish they had the technology I have. Oh hey, it's the same voice box they use in Tickle Me Amy! Amy's voice box is copyright protected. I will sue their asses and fuck them up hard. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Alright, I gotta stop playing with you. So they drop by a bordello called Liquid Silver. Where, funny enough, that little girl named Sam happens to be. Unfortunately, she's called in to try and please a pedophile. It, isn't that just charming? Hey, you're gonna get fired to keep treating the guests like that. Rebecca! I found my mother, maybe, person. But they want to teach the owner of the place, the crazy bat dressed like the crow here, a lesson she won't forget. Kill her. Jinkies, motherfucker. Everybody, drop your guns! Ooh, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna rough her up a bit, or destroy the place and make her watch, or... When the little blue bird have her has never sing? Said her word. Unless that's giant death, that's not a very bad punishment. Louder! When the little blue clerk in the middle of his world... Everybody! I'm sure giraffes on the swan. Welcome to the bottom of the barrel, people. An action film with a horrible music number. No point, no reason, just horridness. Complete and total horridness. I really can't believe they're insulting our intelligence this much. This is just painful. All right, I hate this movie so much, and this scene in particular, that I'm willing to go so far as to show pictures of starving children that we could have saved with the money used on this picture. Really fucking makes you think. Happy Glitz Starving Children moment! So, because they decide to do their rape of Broadway, Sam gets kidnapped again! Good one, Rebecca! Good one! The Rippers? Are you kidding? Look, we're gonna rescue Sam, we're gonna need an army. They're an army. Yeah, but. Uh, we have no time for your opinion! We only have time for craptastic musical numbers that get children kidnapped! Come on, lady, keep up! So they try to find the Rippers to see if they can get help saving Sam as they stumble upon their lair. Oh my god, the wires of virtue! This is a bug hunt! Game over, man! Game over! Yeah, so it turns out the Rippers are giant kangaroos. Sounds like something Willy Wonka would create when he's completely drunk. And one of them, if you can believe it, is actually played by rapper Ice-T. Let him go. Despise! I'm gonna kill him myself. Wait, well. In fact, how did getting him to sign on for this movie work exactly? Did he really just think this was the role of a lifetime for him? All right, Ice-T, I know you got a lot of projects in the works, but just listen to this movie role. Yeah, okay. You're a kangaroo. Fuck yeah! All in favor of crumpets and tea, say aye. 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 Shut up! Ain't gonna be no crumpets and tea. Well, that's something I never thought I'd hear Ice-T say. We're gonna take them outside right now and waste them! So they waste a lot of time with these kangaroo jack shits as they finally agree that they'll help them save Sam if they can get some weapons to help them out. <laughs> Sir, we're being attacked by some sort of lethal ice cream truck! Oh, she's roasting a hot dog. It's funny because people don't often roast hot dogs during an action scene. She's pretty wacky. I want attention! 
So after Pee-wee's big tank adventure, we move on to more important scenes. Like, and I'm not kidding here, wrapping marsupials. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just gonna show you the things you could be doing right now as opposed to watching this movie. Yeah. Look at what you learned today. <laughs> Okay, what? What is up with the comic shots? I am sick of them. They serve no point, no purpose. Why have them in the movie? Actually, no, I got it. I just figured it out. I bet you anything, they ran out of money, they forgot to shoot like a bajillion scenes, so they just threw a bunch of pictures in from the comic hoping nobody could tell the difference. Frank, what do you mean we're out of money? We still have 24 more scenes to shoot. What do you mean improvise? I can't... Um... Oh, tank girl, tank girl! Look at, look at, look at! adventure is high flying shit happening! Water and power has mines all the way from here to here. We've got the stolen flyer. All we have to do is paint it back the way it was and pale. Wait, are you sure we have enough comic pages for that? So they try to break into the villain's hideout by partaking in. Okay, are you even trying, movie? Yes, this ridiculous jackass stunt that can easily be shut down will definitely get us in safely. So they put Sam in a pipe filling with water. As you might have noticed, they're not showing McDowell's face. Probably because they're building up the surgery that was done on him earlier. It's getting ridiculous, though. It's like he's turning into Dr. Claw. I'll get you next time, Tank Girl. Next time. So the Mighty Morphin Kangarooers break in to kick some tail and... Oh, wait a minute. You can see the string! God damn it, movie! You're not worth the 50 cents I bought you for at the dollar store! Back Hang on, I hear you! I can hear your weak voice over that loud gunfire! So McDowell finally shows his face to reveal... It looks exactly the same. Well, I'm used to disappointment by now, so I'm not really that bummed. Actually, it turns out that McDowell's head is now a hologram. I knew it. I knew the real Malcolm McDowell wouldn't sign on for a movie this stupid. It was a hologram all along! Ah! Oh, my clockwork oranges! <laughs> Need a hand? Come on, get up! Oh, I'm so pretty. Uh, yeah. Isn't that little girl drowning right now? Need a hand? Come on, get up! Oh, I'm so pretty. I'm gonna hit you so hard, your children will be born bruised. <laughs> get up! P -p -p pale Just say, I won, and the little girl lives. I'd rather her die than live as your slave. I think she'd actually be safer as a slave than having you as a mother. Alright, so quick wrap-up. She defeats McDowell, finally saves the girl, and kisses one of the kangaroos. Ew. And it doesn't really end as much as just show us more of those pointless Ren and Stimpy cartoons. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 But who the hell cares? Tank Girl was very appropriately named as it appropriately tanked at the box office. Just and why shouldn't it? It's horrible! It's long, it's annoying, and it's just a pain to sit through from beginning to end. Fuck this movie and fuck everything having to do with it! I'm the Nostalgia Critic. If you'll excuse me, I think I have some money I want to donate to some starving kids. I mean, God! She's just a girl! She's just a girl! A girl.